Is that fair to say that you were angry? Very. I was. I was shocked. I mean, I was. I was shocked and really didn't know how to handle it. Um, my first indictment, I knew it was coming because we were in constant communication with the attorney general's office, and um, you know they sent out a pre-indictment plea offer. So we knew that there was a chance that I would get indictment, indicted. This came out of left field. I mean, I well, you knew I, there was an investigation going on. I, I, I knew it was an investigation, but I was told multiple times, multiple, multiple, multiple times, that I wasn't a target or a subject. Hi, are you still planning to sue the state? Well, um, I'm going to keep all of my legal options open, um, and that, that that is a possibility because this has to stop. I mean, all I ever wanted to do, getting involved in politics, was serve my city and serve, you know, the people I represent to the best of my ability. And that didn't include two major indictments in four years. So um, a message needs to be sent that they can't just come in, trump up charges on people, lose and say, okay, we fought the good fight. That's not what the justice system is about. I'm not a criminal. And it's... It's sort of scary that the state, number one, can get an indictment so easy. Anybody can get an indictment so easy. The sad part is everybody automatically believes the hype. You get charged with something, oh, he's guilty. It, well, um, number one, a lot of things were happening to me leading up to the election. Uh, running mates, uh, leaving my camp, a lot of broken political promises, um, different things. Um, so the campaign was a disaster. Um, I went from being considered possibly the favorite to being the next mayor of Atlantic City back in January of 09 because of the support system that I um, potentially was going to have around me to, you know, the indictment on September 3rd, 2009 to some people saying my political career being over. In the meantime, I was, you know, building a house and you know, just being a father, being a full-time employee. Um, a month after the election, Dafiq Rashid passes. Um, that devastated me. I mean, I, I'm, I, I usually deal with, you know, my emotions very well, but I, I couldn't control myself that night. I was, I was out of it. How difficult was it to, to um, try to at least keep up with government and being a councilman and stuff while this was going on. There's times where um, I had to juggle um, between reading my council agenda and reading a legal brief that was submitted on my behalf. And it was difficult, but um, I still think that um, you know, through it all, I was still you know showing up in the community, mm -hmm. uh, going to civic meetings. Um, I don't, I can honestly say I don't feel that I unders underserved my constituents while I was going through this. But I mean, it was clearly a distraction, and thank God that the residents, you know, really understood. I mean, because they know if it, you know, wasn't for a situation like this, that you know, I would be much, you know, much, much more attentive.